A fuel cell is an energy conversion device that reacts to fuel and oxygen to produce electricity. The most common fuel we just heard about is hydrogen. Um, when we talk about that energy conversion, that's a very important distinction right there between a uh, battery and a fuel cell. Uh, bat a battery is more of an energy storage device, so you could think of the fuel plus the, ener uh, plus the fuel cell as analogous to a battery, plus oxygen. Of course, we don't have to carry around the oxygen with us in principle, it's all around us. Um, we do have to carry the fuel, as we just, just heard. But the fuel cell itself is, is pretty much an inert object, and, and until we feed it fuel on a continuous basis, uh, it does not uh, um, operate. Move on. Thank you. So uh, this is an important distinction, then. A battery's reactants are self-contained. A fuel cell's reactants are supplied externally. Um, so a, a figure of merit that people might use, for example, uh, we heard a little bit about energy densities, energy contents. Um, gravimetric energy densities on the order of, oh, 150, um, excuse me, watt hours per kilogram uh, are typical for something like an advanced lithium ion battery these days. Um, whereas uh, a, a fuel cell system, uh, one has to consider both the weight of the fuel and the fuel cell, um, depends very much on how you store its uh, hydrogen or other reagent. Clearly, if we can go to something like uh, um, a liquefied or directly oxidized fuel, like say methanol is, is a very common one uh, considered, we can actually dramatically enhance the energy density. Just to put that in perspective, I mentioned 150 watt hours per kilogram. Uh, methanol itself as a liquid, which is a little misleading, uh, is about 6,000 watt hours per kilogram in energy density, okay? So right there you have a very large factor increase in principle in energy density. That's why people think about things like direct methanol fuel cells where you directly oxidize methanol uh, as battery replacements. Even with relative, uh, fairly low efficiencies from a fuel cell uh, standpoint, certainly compared to hydrogen uh, for methanol and some other uh, ancillary equipment, it's not at all beyond the pale, or in fact, it's pretty much achievable today, at least in prototype, to have on the order of 1,000 watt hours per kilogram. So on the order of six times the energy density of a battery. If you're a soldier carrying that 50 to 80 pounds of batteries on your back into the field, that's a, that's a very substantial uh, either savings or, or increase in uh, functionality you might achieve uh, uh, via fuel cell.